Hello everyone and welcome to another video. A few weeks ago I managed to beat Extreme Heights using just 7 tiles and then I said this. A little bit later we beat Extreme Heights using just 7 tiles, which I am convinced is the minimum possible. Oh how wrong I was. A few days after that video came out, Twitch viewer Nusse97 said that they found a 6 tile setup and potentially even a 4 tile one. Several other people came up with the same 6 tile setup, but before we get into that let's do a quick refresher on how this park gets the 4500 guests needed to beat extreme heights. In extreme heights guests prefer very intense rides and this tiny reverse incline coaster has super low stance so no one will ever ride it. Except for when it rains, as then guests will ride any sheltered ride no matter the stats, be they nearly zero or so high that you almost die by just looking at the ride. So on the rare occasion that it rains in extreme heights, a few guests will ride the coaster and once they've done that there is a good chance that they will get into the endless cycle of becoming happy and buying food at the burger stall. When they have entered this cycle they will never want to leave, meaning we slowly get more and more guests and in a little under 600 years we beat the scenario. Nusse, among other people, suggested that I use the inverted shuttle coaster instead of the looping coaster as its cars are short enough that it only needs a single station tile to work in reverse incline mode. I initially thought that this would make no difference as now you need an extra piece of path and you're still at 7 tiles. But what I didn't think of is that you can actually simply lower the path piece, have the guests drop onto it and put the burger stall under the right instead of on the other side. This works and it's a 6 tile solution, but we can do better. To use fewer tiles we will need a smaller ride. The current ride is 4 tiles big, but 3 tile rides, 1 tile for the ride itself and 2 for the buildings, are possible. The one tile death maze is a classic example and is also the only fully functional one tile ride, or three tiles if you also count the buildings. You can have a one tile boat hire, but you will need plenty of water around it for it to actually work. But who says we need a fully functional ride? Nusse realized that when the guests board a boat hire that has nowhere to go, if you then double close the ride they will be expelled out of the exit building, making them complete the ride. Initially I thought this didn't work since the ride doesn't count these as customers and it still says that zero guests have ridden it. And guests need to ride at least one ride to be able to get into that never ending cycle of buying food. It wasn't until discord user Bananana independently came up with the exact same idea that I realized that I was wrong and while the ride thinks that no guests have ridden it, the guests themselves do count it. We now have a 5 tile setup, but we can remove that final tile by simply building both the path and the food stall above or below the right and manually picking up the guests and putting them on the path tile. So the final setup is this. First use no entry signs to get all the guests to the front of the park and remove everything else. Then hire entertainers and place one food stall before waiting until August 27th year 2 when you unlock the inverted shuttle coaster. With the stall and the entertainers the park rating stays just above 700 which is necessary to avoid failing extreme heights. Once you've unlocked it, build the coaster in reverse incline mode with just a station tile and nothing else. Nusse used the boat hire in their 4 tile example, but this coaster makes it a lot easier. My original 7 tile setup worked because guests ride any sheltered ride in the rain, making these thrill seeking guests ride a super boring ride, but this setup works on a different principle. Because these 1 tile rides never leave the station, they never get their stats calculated and guests will ride any ride that doesn't have its stats calculated yet, regardless of rain or anything. However, a boat hire without a track immediately does get its stats calculated as soon as it departs, so after the first load of guests it wouldn't work anymore as it now has stats. You would need to keep removing and replacing it every single time, which is tons more effort than the coaster which never gets its stats. Anyway, now all we need is a food stall with accompanying path piece on top and here we have our entire setup. 
From this point we can start speeding up the game, wait until 6 or 8 guests have boarded the ride, double close and reopen it, put the guests on top and repeat that until we're at 4500. There is a catch though and that is the secret extra guest that will sometimes be expelled through the exit who hasn't ridden the ride. You may have noticed that whenever guests aren't boarding you can pick up any guest that is in the queue line except the one at the very front. This guest is still queuing but is also sort of already on the ride and you can't pick up guests that are on rides. Even though this guest doesn't consider themselves to be on the right yet they will get expelled on the other side if you double close it. Our coaster doesn't have a queue line but even then a single guest can still queue for the right and be annoying. So whenever you double close the right you have to check whether one of the guests hasn't ridden the right and put that one back at the front instead of on top. Credits to Bananana for noticing this. With all the knowledge we need we can finally start the process. It's quite tedious but luckily I had a good old YouTube podcast to keep me company while I constantly picked up guests and put them on the top. This went quite well and I had over a hundred guests in the park in year 5 but then the coaster broke down without me realizing it and I failed the scenario as the park rating dropped below 700 for too long. Not a big deal as I have autosaves going on every 5 minutes so we can restart from the last one before it broke down. Back in year 5 for a second time guest 2117 decides to make his way back to the front and immediately board the coaster again before I can pick him up and put him on the top. I have no idea what's so exciting about this as all you do is spend a while sitting in a chair before being violently thrust through the exit building. Maybe his feet are just really tired and he's looking for the only place in the park where you can sit. Anyway, in year 8 the ride breaks down again and this time I do notice it so we have to delete and rebuild it before we can continue on our merry way. There is no reason for the ride to be underground by the way, that is just force of habit for me from my previous video on extreme heights. Replacing the ride does remove it from the list of rides that the guests have ridden, but their internal counter still says that they have ridden one ride, so this has no effect on them wanting to stay in the park. You do have to periodically check for guests that did ride the ride but failed to get into the food buying cycle and now want to go home. This is very easy as you can just click on all the guests that are leaving the park and drop them off in the front so that they can finally actually leave. If you have too many of these lost guests it will eventually kill your park rating making you lose the scenario. In year 15 an hour into this run we have about 450 guests on top, 10% the way to the goal and this is where I stop. I can't be bothered spending another 9 hours picking up over 4000 more guests. However, the proof of concept is here and you can apply this to many, many more scenarios. Nearly every scenario with the guest goal can do this setup as long as they have the right rights available. Electric fields, factory capers and crazy castle can really easily be done with just a maze. Lucky Lake doesn't have a maze but it does have the boat hire. Because in these scenarios guests don't all prefer super intense rides like extreme heights we don't need to pull out any special tricks to make the guests ride them. Here the stats are allowed to be calculated and the guests will go on them as if they were totally normal rides. Amity Airfield, the most infamous scenario, is once again infamous here as it's not possible unfortunately. You don't get the boat hire or the maze and the method with the inverted shuttle coaster is just too slow. You see, while guests will board any ride without stats, that chance is reduced by 90% if that ride can record g-forces and all coasters do so. This is fine in extreme heights as there is no time limit, but there is no way you can get 3000 guests to ride that ride in just 4 years, so empty airfield doesn't work. The maze and boat hire are the only non-coaster type one tile ride type, so any scenario with a deadline will need one of these two available for a four tile solution to be possible. Fungus woods can be done with a maze, but there isn't a lot of wiggle room here. In a full 4 year run without me having to pick them up, I got about 3700 guests, so even if empty airfield got the maze it would only have 
barely been possible. Rainbow Summit is another one that cannot be done, as you can't advertise in it. To get any kind of decent natural gas generation, you will need to build enough rides to attract the 2500 guests that you need for the goal, which obviously can't be done on just 4 tiles. Well, actually, you can, or at least you can in OpenRCT2. With the increased limit of ground height, you can raise the land high enough to place 165 underground stalls and get over 2500 soft guest cap. The problem is that the maximum natural guest generation isn't quick enough to get 2500 guests to ride the maze in 4 years, so even a ridiculous hat stall tower can't save us. We've now been through all the guest goal scenarios in the base game of RCT2, but what about the ones with different goals? I did Bumbly Bazaar with two tiles already, so that one is trivial. Ghost Town, Infernal Views and Gravity Gardens are all impossible, as you need to build proper functioning roller coasters in those scenarios, and that's not happening on four tiles. In Dusty Greens, you need to make 5000 euros of profit from ride tickets in a single month, which seems entirely impossible, but it's not. First you do the exact same thing as we've been doing the entire video and we get tons and tons of guests on top of the maze. To fund all the advertisements you will need to charge quite a bit for the food and put a cash machine on the other side so that the guests don't run out of money. For some reason I had an issue with a whole bunch of guests not actually using the cash machine and wanting to go home because they were broke, but with enough time and effort you can eventually get the over 9000 guests that you need. Now wait until they all need to go to the toilet as much as possible and then build a bathroom with a price of 60 cents, which is the maximum they will ever pay. Open it and you will watch your ride profit increase super quickly. This only works because for some reason the toilet counts as a ride instead of a stall for financial purposes. You're now free to do whatever you want with your guests as they have served their purpose. You have beaten Dusty Greens with just toilet income. The last two scenarios, Alpine Adventures and Botany Breakers, require a monthly ride profit of 7000 and 10000 euros respectively, making this impossible in vanilla RCT2 as you cannot get enough guests. In open RCT2 you can beat these with just 4 tiles using the same strategy, as the guest limit has been increased from 9601 to over 65000. And there you have it, you can beat 10 out of 15 scenarios in the Rollercoaster Tycoon 2 base game using 4 tiles or fewer. Feel free to prove me wrong on the ones that I've listed as impossible here, as there could potentially exist a solution for Rainbow Summit and Amity Airfield. The other three though I don't think are ever going to be possible. To see me beat Fungus Wood without removing any of the trees, click right here. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.